Morena had my um had an interesting day yesterday. Um, I got called up um, from the New Zealand mentoring service. So, I during COVID, I noticed that there were um, the I think it was nzmentors.co.nz or .org something like that were offering their services for free, and I thought, shit, I've never had a a proper business coach before I've been a business coach and I've had some mentors but I've never had a you know other than you know my accountant occasionally lawyer friends I've had a couple but never have lasted very long um, I decided to sign up and so I signed up a few weeks ago and uh, now yeah I got called up to discuss who I'm gonna have as a mentor and I was like awesome so you know, I really was interested, and I, um, I may they they said, oh, well, what sort of person? And I I um, told them, you know, um, I wanted someone who's in the, you know, with a tech background, um, and sort of in in that sort of startup space, who is ideally is Maori, um, and then after a few, uh, only a, a short conversation, I realised. There just aren't many people like that. And I was like, um, you know, I, in some ways, um, I probably know most of the people like that, are, that could potentially, that I would potentially like. Um, I know I've been fortunate enough to be able to talk to Ian Taylor uh, from time to time. And although he probably doesn't <laughs> consider me uh, a mentee or anything, I've always felt like I could ring him up or message him if I needed to ask any questions and he's always been open to meeting me so I've always been fortunate with that. Um, there's been a few other Māori uh, entrepreneurs, business people, um, professionals that I've, I've spoken to as well. Um, so I'm really interested actually and I'm hoping that um, something comes of it that will be good for me. Um, I think it's always good to have you know, people giving advice, um, and often being an entrepreneur, it can be not so much lonely, but it's kind of like you're relying on your own ideas, and um, when you do that, there's always going to be risk. Or in, in my case, often I I rely on um, talking to family and close friends, and for family that can put pressure on them and a bit of stress because they don't want to know about the risk perhaps and for friends you know they you know they don't really understand or don't know so um, and I'm fortunate also I have a couple of people I guess who 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 are yeah they definitely could be mentors that I can contact ex bosses you know um, but I'm really I guess I'm interested to see what will happen with this um, and I hope that you know I, there's something positive and fun come out of it and some learning for me um, so on another topic which I have have been noticing the last few days and it's just been kind of like yeah it's really been sparking my creative juices is the Joe Rogan experience acquisition by Spotify so you know, if if what I see is what I'm hearing is a hundred million dollar purchase of a podcast, and and I mean the numbers. I've never been a Joe Rogan fan. Uh, his his um, content's too sort of controversial for me. I can't. I get when you've got racists and misogynists on, uh, I just can't handle it. But I respect the fact that he's got. <laughs> I know millions and millions of followers and people who download his podcast, and um, I yeah, the idea that you can sell a podcast like that um, is pretty pretty amazing, really, and for that amount of money, and so now and the idea that you there's actually a back catalog, you know, and that it's not like the music industry where you know. Spotify pays money to the artists for every listen. No, they, it doesn't work like that with with podcasts. 
Spotify owns the podcasts. And so they actually get paid for every listen as opposed. So it's a really interesting variation to that licensing model. And I realize, um, you know, Spotify have been doing this for a while because I'm not really a Spotify fan, but the one Spotify, uh, the one, I'm not a podcast fan, sorry, I do listen to Spotify for music, but there's only one podcast that I've ever really listened to regularly, and that's the Tardinger series, um, which is this really cool podcast on Te Reo Māori, and I have listened to it through a Spotify. Um, that's the only one I have, and so, but in the last few years, it's been clear that uh, to me now, where whereas I just kind of didn't realise that as it was happening that Spotify are moving into the podcast space and they're trying to um, dominate that space. And when I look at it, I think there's just not many people in it. There's not many people doing it very well. I mean, there's Apple doing that. But yeah, so suddenly you go, ah, there's a really interesting um, thing going on there. Um and yeah oh it just it just makes me start thinking about the importance of podcasts i yeah, i guess i'd never really put too much stock in them because i didn't listen to them all the time you know it was very occasional but um it makes me reassess that when it comes to doing you know marketing for businesses marketing for clients you know I've, I've done a few different things. I mean, at the moment, I'm doing a, a, a live stream once a week um, for a client on a Friday. And um, it's it kind of gets middling results. We get people engaging with us. and But it's it's not something I've done a lot of. So it's, I'm thinking, okay, so maybe um, maybe there's something in, the, in trying some podcast stuff as well for clients. So, yeah. Anyway. It's super interesting at the moment. I, I love sort of thinking about these types of topics, um, talking about them as well. I know this is a bit of a, a, a change from what I'm normally talking about, which is my own stuff, but this, I guess I, I have constantly have these kind of things going around in my mind that I'm thinking about, and I thought instead of just letting them go around, I might like, from time to time talk about them. Um, because one thing I'll tell you about myself is I've learned that for me to shape my ideas, I actually have to speak them out loud. Often I talk and I listen to my own talking as I'm talking and then I go, ah, I have wee insights about what's going on because if I allow my uh, allow me to just verbalize stuff, then it becomes clearer as opposed to if I were to write them down. Um, and I know I'm, a, I'm someone who needs to verbalize this because as I'm writing emails or as I'm writing reports, I'm speaking them out loud um, because I need to make sure that they are, you know, they make sense. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, it's a another morning. I've got a lot on and it's uh, nice to be sharing some thoughts. Um, have a good day.